We need rhinos. There are plenty of them in the Republican Party folding on the president's national emergency declaration. Mitch McConnell whining, saying this, quote, there's a lot of discomfort with the law, not that the president doesn't have the authority to do what he's doing. Now, what in the world does that mean? And today, Senator Mike Lee becomes the fifth Republican to announce in the Senate that he will vote against the president, likely forcing a veto. Joining me now, RNC Chair Ronna McDaniel, who is, uh, I think, the best uh, head of the RNC in decades. Oh, good to thank see you. you. It's always good to be here. Uh, explain to me, in your party, these rhinos, and I say that with as much disgust as I can uh, uh, emanate, uh, they are just ridiculous in their thinking, uh, their performance, and their failure to support a president who, the, in most cases, that's the only reason these people have been reelected. Well, I will tell you, I've been traveling the country. I, I'm in touch with the grassroots. I'm also in touch with the donors. And they're saying to me, you know, Democrats do one thing. They're in lockstep with each other all the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. And why can't we do that as a party? And, and obviously there's room for discussion and these things, but we all ran on border security. We all recognized that we had an immigration issue. All of these senators recognize that. We know the president's doing the right thing to keep our country safe. He needs to be supported. Yeah. I, I will tell you straight up, I think every, every senator who votes against this uh, should absolutely be uh, removed from office. I, I mean, I, I think the RNC should work to get rid of them because they're standing in the way of a president who is the most successful in the first two years of his presidency since FDR. And it's that straightforward. Well, I will say I've heard a lot of feedback from our voters, and they are saying, why can't our people support our president? We elected him, and it's going to be an issue for those who are especially up in 2020. Our president deserves support. He ran on this. And by the way, he has congressionally allotted the powers to declare a national emergency. This is something that he's doing well within um, his capacity as president. It's and a 43-year-old uh, act. We do, right? And it's been used 58 times since then, but we also have a serious, serious problem at our border and it that's the real issue There's no he question. ran on it we know it's a problem what 268,000 people so far have been apprehended at the border at the beginning of this year it's up 300 percent right. we're looking at a million that will be apprehended yeah we're looking at the ratio of those who are not apprehended to those apprehended that means there could be as many as four million illegal immigrants cross our border this year and these damn fools are saying there isn't a crisis at our border so the president's going to veto this. It's going to go to the House. They won't have enough to override it. So it is going to go forward. Uh, but I do think, as I travel, it's the one thing I hear. Why do Democrats always stick together? And why can't Republicans right. stick with this president? Well, let's, let's start out with Paul Ryan. Yesterday, talking about he didn't think that the president could win if it was based on the president. I, I mean, what kind of an ignoramus is he? Well, he's backtracked that today. He has backtracked well, it that. It took 24 yeah, hours. It took 24 hours, but... That's, that's actually an accelerated uh, evidence and of And here's the reality, uh, Lou, is what do we want? Do we want a Kamala I want people Harris? like do Ryan the hell out of the yeah, party. Yeah, do you want that's a Cory Booker? Want. I mean, every time we attack our president, we're helping the Democrats. And that's the reality. Well, Ryan was the Speaker of the House. He did nothing but lie to the president, lie to the American people, and represent the Chamber of Commerce every day in every way. Why is he even considered? Well, I'm glad he's backtracked. He's done the right thing. And we need to support our president heading into a presidential year, a president who, by the way, has added jobs, grown wages, cut regulation, taken on our uh, national security, made us stronger, taken on ISIS. I mean, then this is a president. Hell of a we president I We've think got a great president. And Absolutely. He deserves our support. And we want him to win again. You know, Look at where the Democrats are. Every time you attack this president, you're helping the Democrats. That's what I say to our party. So, yeah, I have a disagreement. Pick him up, call, pick up the phone, call the president. But let's make sure we recognize the end game. We want to reelect Donald Trump. We want to return our majority to the Senate. And we want to win the House back. All right, let me get your sense of things right now. This president working every day, almost single-handedly, to stave off his attackers and the left-wing national media.